Among the Sudanese, uh, the both Sudan and South Sudan, uh, over the years that we've worked with them, what they've been saying is that they need President Bashir there in order to get him to help them to achieve peace. That's what the Sudanese have been saying to us. So he said, sure, uh, that's your de determination. Because if, if the Sudanese decided that he was irrelevant to the peace process, they could have arrested him and sent him off to The Hague. But they didn't want to do that. Uh, because they say that is required to achieve peace. In our case, as this panel of the African Union, uh, given the responsibilities the African Union has given us, I indeed we engage with President Bashir as we have to. Uh, he's the head of state of Sudan, uh, the head of state of the, he's, he's the head of the ruling party, uh, and so we can't, we have to engage with him in order to get the kind of progress that we need. So that, that's what we will do. But I, I do hope that the, the issues that arose as a result of President Bashir's attendance of the AU summit here in South Africa, I hope that gives us an opportunity to discuss this matter. Uh, because where you have uh, the population of Sudan saying, we need this man in order to end the wars that are going on, and then you say somebody else comes and say, I need to arrest that person. Uh, so it, this thing needs to be discussed between the African continent and the, and the International Criminal Court, so that if it's necessary to amend whatever is in the Rome Statute, it's necessary to do that. Because this is a matter that arises all the time. It's what people who are required uh, to achieve peace, to end wars, to end conflicts, uh, you can't take that person away and say, in the interest of justice, I'm going to take away and let the war continue. You can't take a position like that. So, but this is something that I think the continent and the ISIS need to discuss and resolve.